should you get and build Rockrook? Short answer, probably. Long answer. This entire video. Rondinium Shimenji Kugun no Jutsu, Rock Rock. Koko ni Chakunin yo Hokok Shima. Doctor, Mai wa Kimi tachi no koto gokai shite ta kedo, Mou henken nanka ni toraware nai yo. Aratamete, Naka yoku yatte ikimashu wa ne. Rochelle Rockwell, codename Rockrook, is a five-star mecha cord caster from Victoria. A young woman who chose to take arms to fight Londinium foreign occupants. And is a member of the Londinium Citizen Self-Salvation Corps. Experienced in reconnaissance and long-ranged assault. After her father was executed by Sarkaz mercenary. She grows hatred towards the Sarkaz. But with the Rhodes Island and Self-Salvation Corps cooperation. She gradually realizes that not all Sarkas are bad. And working with Rhodes Island during the Londinium Crisis. This fluffy tail operator is another 5 star in Mecha Cord Caster. Despite their low attack, Mecha Cord proved to be a good option for single target. Will she offer an interesting utility for your team? Let's find out. As a Mecha Cord Caster, she can control a drone or a floating unit. Acting as another attacker unit beside herself. The drone has the same attack stat as Rockrook. But when attacking the enemy, it will start from 20% of her attack. And gradually to 110% of her attack. As for her general stats. Mecha Cord has a really low attack, but they have a fast attack speed. And not to mention their drone as another attacker unit. And when compared to others, Rockrick has a bigger attack than Click or Yera. Slightly lower than the 6 star Golden Glow, but with her talent. Rockrick can have the biggest attack stat among other Mecha Cord. As for her talent, Rockrick's talent will permanently increase her attack by plus 5%. Every 15 seconds she remains on the field. This stacks 4 times, so after 1 minute she will have a plus 20% attack. Indicated with her staff that glowing with electricity. The attack buff is nice, and you better use her skills when this talent is at full stack. To give maximum damage to the enemies. But one minute can be quite a long time in certain stages. Where you need to use her skills as soon as it can be activated. And this is the list of her potential. Rochelle's got a pretty nice enhancement from her potential. But overall she's fine without one. And currently, Mecha Core doesn't have module. Now moving to her skills, when talking about her skills. It feels weird she has no crowd control ability, unlike the other Mecha Cord. So all of her skills will solely focus on damage. Okay, for her first skill. A simple first skill that will increase her attack speed. It's a good starter skill, and might be an option if you don't like her S2 overdrive. But this skill is too bland when compared with her skill 2. Especially since there's no attack bonus. And for mecha cord skills, it's better to choose a skill. That let their drone stick to an enemy until they are defeated or skill ends. As for her second skill. She will increase her attack speed, and her drone will knock onto the enemy. Until the duration ends or the enemy is defeated. This skill has an overdrive state. That will activate when the duration is halfway complete. For the overdrive state, she will gain an increased attack. And her drone max damage will be increased to 220%. But if the duration ends, or you manually deactivated her skill when in overdrive state, she will be stunned, and the stun duration depends on how long her overdrive active. She can be stunned for a long 20 seconds if you don't manually deactivate her skill. The long stun might be not a big issue in normal story stages. But dangerous in a hard stage where every second matters. Or when you need her to not stop attacking. Luckily this skill can be manually deactivated. So you can deactivate her skill to manage how this skill is going to affect her. And you can reduce her stun duration by using Therapist Medic. That can give her status resistance that will reduce her stun duration by 50%. But most therapist medic will only give status resistance of their healer unit. Being a ranged unit who is less likely to be targeted. 
you might end up in a situation where therapist can't do anything with her stun. But if she indeed get wounded, therapist will help ease herself stun. Especially with upcoming free 6 star lumen. Who can instantly remove stun from operators that he healed. By the way, currently only salon with her S2. That doesn't need to heal an operator to give them this effect. Not something effective, but there you have it. Back to this skill, the damage potential from this skill is actually quite high. But it will only become a worthy DPS skill once its overdrive state is active. Until it reaches half of her skill duration, the skill effect is nothing extraordinary. And her drones have to hit the enemy several times before it can deal the maximum damage. And if one enemy is defeated, her drone damage will be reset to 20% of her attack. When the drone lock onto another target. Now for skill mastery priority. You should prioritize using and mastering her skill too. While it has its own issues. But it offers more damage than skill 1 if her overdrive is active. And drones locking their target to one enemy is something useful for this archetype. As for her base skills. When making any kind of materials in the workshop. Increase by product rate by 65%. And when she makes elite materials, any byproduct of tier 3 quality. Will be polyester packs. So, will Rockrick become a good operator for your team? Rockrick is a decent unit. Who can provide a high burst of single target DPS. If you don't mind her self stun and lacking single target DPS. She's a good unit to build. But when compared to other mecha cord. Click is a cheaper and dependable option for story stages and IS mode. Which is useful for newbie, and some other content thanks to her crowd control. Rockrick can be useful too for a newbie, but perhaps her mechanic could become troublesome. But if you can work with that, she's a decent unit to use and upgrade. Although I won't recommend you to promote her to E2 immediately. For a single target caster and a 5 star, it's better you E2 Supreme Leader Amia first. That should be all. Adios.